Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. It's fairly late right now. We have the NJH GF38. That seems to be a big problem with it. One of the things that I've done, I put the timing back to 30 degrees and I use the old style CH that Bill and Terry used to put on the engines. That will be much easier to to, to do than to tap, drill and tap or make the two rings facing each other with a sensor and magnet. So the engine is new. I just uh, started. I let it run. And uh, right now, as you can see, it runs with the original unit. Made by RCXL for NJ hash. Now the unit it's a standard 30 degrees before top dead center. I don't know why it's been put to 40. I guess I have a guess, but it's not my cup of tea to go there. Uh, the prop it's a top flight 26. It's a very skinny prop um, and very light. Okay, if you will be a, uh, a little bit more heavy, you will actually idle even better. So let's see. I spent a little bit time tuning the carburetor. Actually, let me do it quick, because I don't have time. Like the camera doesn't want to focus. So like I said, the engine is timed 30 degrees before top the center. One of the other things, guys, that I don't know how your engines are, but the prop drive itself, uh, the key, the Woodruff key, it has some play in it, and I think that it has a four degree. This one, this engine, it has four degree in a, in a prop drive with a key. So as you can see, it parts pretty good along the tip, the tip. I feel like the carburetor has a little bit issue with the fuel pumping. I feel the, the engine that it needs to, to go more. Too bad that I have to go in vacation. And I don't have time to change the carburetor and play around with it, but I think a couple of things could be done to improve this engine. But it's, it's running fairly decent now. One of the things, when I put it together, when I barely tied it up, this thread here, it went boom. So I had to replace the bolt, and it looks like this one is holding it. One of the things that I don't like, the external pulls with all the fuel, the oil and all that, that it can come through the tube. Also, this, come, this can come out 
very easy you see I'm not sure if you can see it so from vibration when it's inside the cowling this can come out what I will do I will just plug it and put this one down to ground the other thing that I will do this one the the white piece here I will plug this one here and I will try to see how it works with the internal poles like I said I do not have time to do all that but more than likely it can be done and that's what I do in pretty much all the other engines I don't like the external getting it on uh, especially on four strokes <coughs> from the crankcase because you have all the oil so I was running my mouth here and the engine you see is still running let me see how how low I can go I don't know if you hear it, but at the top end, I hear and I feel the engine like it wants to go more and it has a, a little bit of a surging, it wants to rave up a little bit more and something is going on. Like I said, I don't have time to to look into it, but I think it, it can get a couple of hundred more RPMs. Well, it's fairly dark outside now yeah I think I think uh, it could be a different choice of a carburetor because the spooling up is not quite there. Transition. Let me try to give a little bit more on the low. Is up too much. Even even though it does, you know, it's not. It's running, but it's. I don't know. It's not there. I spent already a couple of hours on this engine. 
As you can see, it's, it stays there pretty good, but I don't like the, the way it falls up. And it's not a heavy prop, it's, you know, it's a light prop. It should pull up much easier than this. I think a little bit bigger Venturi on the carburetor, it will, it will help it out. trying to push it as much as possible down that I have on the screw to see if it stopped. Okay, now it stopped. So, like I said guys, might be okay. I know it could be a couple of things that uh, make it better. One of the things is to check the mirroring valve because I think it's sticking a little bit on this one. Like I said, this part when you put it together, careful with how you tie this because I just barely, you know, try to tie it and it just stripped out. Uh, I don't like, ouch, I don't like this. You see how easy it comes out? So if this comes out, then you're sucking air through here. Also, ouch, oh, sorry, I don't know if you guys seen that. You see, it's real. It, it comes out really easy. It should not be like this. So like I said, I will plug that up and make a drain on the on the outside of the airplane. This part here, if I will have time, but like I said, I do not have time getting ready to go on vacation for the for three weeks after four years. My wife will kill me if I do anything else. Um, here is a sensor, like I said. 30 degrees before top dead center also when you guys check it out the prop drive here it has play in the key with the prop drive so this engine it had four four degree play in it so when you take the prop I had to you know put this against the, the way I time it so I did it I know what it needed to be done so that's that. Uh, let's not run my mouth too much because it's too late. Ouch. Okay, so here is the prop. Okay, top flight 26. Very skinny. Very skinny prop, probably what? That's three quarter. And with this prop, if it doesn't spool that quick, you know, faster than that, but also kind of holds an idle. Pretty decent. <clears throat> so that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions just email me, PM me, call me and we'll talk more about it. Thank you.